so before proceeding further if you get error uh, while loading that okay make sure uh, your WAMP is running also left click here and go to PHP version make sure to use that 7 version 7 okay rather than using this okay this will uh, slightly faster and uh, this will eliminate all the errors okay so click on here and it will automatically restart open up project in sublime okay so your project here just drag that to sublime okay that will open or file open folder so here you see couple of folders so don't worry about them just yet for now we are talking about routes we'll go to this folder routes okay so here uh, if you open that you see three files by default api console and web so this is for making apis okay this is console uh, for making console commands and here is what we need for now web okay so if you go to web.php you will see something like this by default okay this contains uh, web related routes okay so uh, let's, let's go to home page okay this is home page page url so uh, when you go to home page okay we'll see something like this what this is doing is this is loading this view welcome view okay so that file is located inside resources views okay views and this welcome.blade.php so welcome typing just welcome will load this view so if we see that this is uh, html okay pure html so here we see laravel we can change this to notebook app notebook app okay so now if we go to this uh, url we should see that view notebook app okay so i think you get the idea this is how we load uh, uh, you sorry html okay so all our html or especially blade okay blade template we'll talk about that is in, uh, stored inside this view okay uh, inside this view this contains couple of this error templating okay two folder so we put everything inside this view so now uh, let's go back to our routes routes uh, web so here let's uh, define another route so we define route by route get okay get request to which URL this home okay now we define function and here semicolon also so return this is home so this is very basic route okay so if we head to this slash home we'll see this is home so this is very basic route so uh, next thing you should uh, know about is how to pass data okay so uh, to pass data in this url uh, slash you, you should define placeholder okay so this could be anything so home uh, name okay so this is placeholder which we will pass in url and here is in data we catch this data by defining variable here so we can give it whatever name we want okay but for now i can give just same as this okay you should it shouldn't be like same okay you can give whatever but you should use so this is home so for now just give this name okay so now if we go to this home slash whatever we pass here uh, like jack so we'll get whatever we pass here okay this will reflect the same so tom okay so this is how we pass data in url and we catch it like so okay and we um, display it by returning that okay so also you can pass as much data as you want home uh, office 
so location okay so here define another variable location so we concatenate that with new string okay this is how we concatenate so office is here so here we define that location variable okay the what we are passing here will reflect it here so name office is here so if we had to url this is name okay up to this and now we should define that office in usa so tom office is here in usa so here we just make space so usa so whatever you pass here that will reflect it here so nepal so tom office is here in nepal so this is weird but this will do the work so this is how we pass url uh, sorry data in url and we catch it like so okay so these two things are important to know okay so this is how we define route so we'll talk about um, other methods so there are also uh, post method okay post put patch put delete okay we'll talk them uh, about them so for now just um, use get this is like get request 